Hello, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Serena and today we have a productivity vlog kind of thing. When I woke up today, I felt this urge to spend my whole day playing Minecraft. So I decided to do this formula that I always try uh, when I feel like this. So here's a step-by-step -step of that formula on how to be productive when you don't feel like it. Step one for productive day is to start your day with journaling. I mean, that's my morning routine. Journaling is one of my non-negotiables for my morning routine. And the biggest advantage of journaling for me is that you clear your mind, you put all the chaos into words, you can start thinking clearly, which is exactly how I got the idea of filming this video. Yeah, I was feeling unmotivated when I was journaling and while I journaled, I, I had the burst of motivation. Now, I still do want to spend my whole day playing Minecraft, but I decided that I would get that as a reward at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like if I spent a productive day, then I get to play Minecraft for one or two hours. So the step one is to journal and manage the chaos that's happening here. And step two is write out your tasks. You can write your tasks in small details or as a huge project, but be sure to be clear on what what those projects entail. For example, I want to give an example so that is clear. I think house chore is the best example that I can give that applies to anyone because you have to clean your house. So when you write down a task saying do the house chores, I think in my opinion, it is better if you are clear, for example, have the subtasks of doing the kitchen, doing the living room and the office, the bedroom and having those subtasks separately, in my opinion, makes you more motivated when you are close to finishing it or finishing it. So you get to check off and you feel like you get to check off a lot of things. This is like, this is tricking your brain into feeling better about doing mundane stuff or undesirable stuff. I hate cleaning. I hate doing house chores. I love my clean space, but I don't like doing the house chores. You just have to do some cleaning every single day. There is no way of avoiding it. And now the fun part cleaning your space. First step was journaling to clear your mind so that you can focus on one thought at a time or even 10 thoughts at a time instead of 20,000. And same applies to your physical space. So you need to clean your space to be able to focus on your work that you are doing currently. Let's go to the office and clean the place and start being actually productive. And step number four, nourish your body so that you can stay productive throughout the day. I'll catch you when I'm done with my breakfast. I just have my breakfast. Here, I've written out my daily uh, hour blocking stuff. So according to this hour blocks, my 12 to 1 p.m. hour is reserved for my food because I do intermittent fasting. I eat my breakfast at 12 p.m. And I did that for 20 minutes. And, and I want to do some 
light movements so that my wristband doesn't scold me every 30 minutes saying I sit a lot, I need to stand up. Because you know, my work is sitting here and working. And that is exactly why I blocked out these hours from my day so that I could move around and do some other chores. For example, now I want to do some little bit of clean up in the kitchen and while doing that I am going to listen to my audiobook. If you're interested, I'm listening to the finale from Stephanie Garber. I I don't want to listen to it only because I don't want the universe to end. And I know that there are three more books from that universe specifically, but still, still, I will shut up about the books I'm listening to. So anyways, I will put on my headphones and listen while I do some, uh, some cleaning in the kitchen. I'm going to do that for 40 minutes and 1 p.m. is my work time. From 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. for four hours, I'm going to be working. So I just did some cleaning and now I'm here on my desk working on my Notion planner. So I'm going to work on this and run you through a new page that I made on Notion. I am very excited about it. It is now 1 p.m. and I am going to be working until 5 p.m. I also will have my Pomodoro tracker here, track my work hours. So it is now almost 5 p.m. I have been struggling with one specific feature that I was supposed to do. So I was planning to finish with this job in one hour, but it ended up taking me three hours in total. Anyways, I don't even wanna talk about it, but on the plus side, my cat is sitting on my desk. Nala barely does that. She doesn't do that often, so anytime she does do that, it is a blessing. So four hours of my workday is already done and I have four more hours to go. I am really tired. I need to take a minute to get away from this. I need to go do something else entirely different. I'm going to listen to more of my book, do some uh, physical activity and prepare a dinner. It is now 9.30 p.m. I just got done with my work. Eight hours of work day. I actually did so many things that I have been putting off for over two weeks. It doesn't seem much, but it's actually a huge deal only because of the fact that I've been putting them off for way too long. And the thing is, the, the longer I put them off, the less I want to do them. So it is great that I am done with all of that. Now that I am done, I can actually move on to the next step in the work, of course. But right now, I am done with my work and now I have to go and work out. I need to take 6K steps. I am trying to hit 8K steps every single day. So I'm going to go do my workout for about an hour or so. I will see you when I'm done with my workout. I just got done with my workout. Oh my God, this lighting is atrocious. Wait a minute. So hi, it is the next day. Apparently I lost the clip that I filmed yesterday, so I am remaking this. So the last step to a productive day is to reward yourself. And it is better if you decide what you want to reward yourself with in the beginning of the day so that you stay motivated and 
complete your tasks in order to get that reward. But I have said this in my how to set goals video that you should not reward yourself with something that helps you be a human basically like mental health, physical health, stuff like that. Your reward could be playing some games which mine is. You know it, it depends on the person so you should choose your own reward but again don't jeopardize your mental or physical health just because you want to be productive. Now that's out the way. My reward was that I wanted to play Minecraft for one to two hours, but what I didn't take into consideration was that by the time I finished my task, I was too tired to play Minecraft. All the work I did yesterday was on my PC. So I couldn't look at my PC screen any more than I already had yesterday. So I decided to change my reward to reading my book. So that's what I did. I got into bed and read my book and fell asleep. And that is how I managed to turn my very unmotivated must a day into a refreshing productive day so i made this really really aesthetic notion template in my opinion it is really cute we have a place for your tasks we have cute little gifts and then we have a spotify playlist this is my favorite playlist to work to and then i have this pomo focus here i love working with pomodoros and then we have this maybe hypocritical word here too because this page is all about productivity and the quote here says a moment to slow down and appreciate the good things in life which is really really important it's not actually hypocritical in my opinion because journaling in the me time process we do take time to appreciate things you know you know anyways and then we have this table now logging things and looking back at them motivates me even more so i wanted to make this page so that i can go back to it look at it keep myself productive for the next days and whenever i am feeling unmotivated i can come back to this page again so as you can see from here i spent half an hour on me time i journaled like in the morning routine um i did one hour of youtube and four hours of etsy work one hour of another youtube and two hours of graphic design work so a total of eight hours of workday and then I did one and a half hour physical activity that included walking, yoga and proper workout. And that was the end of my day. I am feeling very happy about my day yesterday. I am loving this template and I this actually this template has a, a bit more to it in terms of logging. This is for long-term luggage. So if you are interested in this template, you can actually make this on your own. It is really, really easy. But if you want to have already created one, I have this template on my Etsy, just a $3. So if you want to support me, you can do so by purchasing a template like this. If you don't want to spend any money, you can just interact with the video, comment, like, share with your friends. And yeah, thank you so much for sticking until the end. I hope you have a productive day. I hope this video helped you become a bit more motivated, gave you an idea on how you could structure your day. And yeah, that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed. Again, follow me on my Instagram. I am most active there. Thank you so much for watching. And and I will see you in my next video. Bye.